Question 9 is to use the factor theorem to determine factors of polynomials. Here again, it's similar to the previous type of questions. We have to use synthetic division. And then what you need to do is uh, split out the term. So now this given term must be divided by this one. They have already told its factor. So the remainder will be 0 and you can split it out. Now I'll tell you some shortcut methods. Now the actual method is just like this and you will get the answer, right? So what you can do is directly from the final answer, you can check which is the correct answer. Let me show you. There are a couple of methods. Now the first method is mode phi and option number four. This is a cubic equation before x cube is one. But what is before x squared? There's nothing, so it should be zero and then x is minus three and lastly we have the constant two. So if you get the answer, you will get x is equal to two so let me write it out. X is equal to minus 2, not positive 2, it's negative 2. And X is equal to 1. Let me write it out. X is equal to 1. And there, were, there must be one more answer, but you can see it's only two answers that are coming out. It's cubic, so there must be three solutions, right? So one factor is X plus 2. Another factor is X minus 1. So now here... They have told this is one factor already. Did they mention any power 2? No. So the other factor, whatever you get, right, is of multiplicity 2. That means this is repeated twice. The Like, you know, the uh, graph, right? It doesn't cut like this. Whereas at minus 1, right, over here, it touches, sorry, at x is equal to 1, it touches something like this and it goes and continues. So basically, it has a multiplicity of 2. That's it. Now, this is the final answer. Now, other way to find this out is you will have four options, isn't it? In the four options, what you need to do is find the factors. Like, you will have only this as the answer. So you will have about four answers like that, right? You need to assume a x value. First to the question. So let me type this question out. x power 3 minus 3x squared. That is alpha in this. Sorry, it's x only, plus 2. Assume my x value, I'll assume it to be 1.5. And what's the answer? It's 7 by 8 or 0 0.875. Now, this one, all the four options needs to be put in the calculator. So, I'll put this first one. Over here, it will be alpha x plus 2. Close the bracket. Open the bracket again. x minus 1. Close the bracket and square it up. Where do you want to calculate? At the same point. Is it same? Yes. So therefore, we can tell this is the correct answer. All the other four options will not be the same. They, they'll be different. So that's why you can easily eliminate it. And also by using the equation, you can easily get these only factors to double check the answer. Same thing over here. Now, in such cases, you don't have equation to solve. If you have the latest model, yes, you can do power four as well. But in this calculator, what you need to do is but just check the answers particularly in the sense first write the equation x power 4 plus 2x cubed now I've written it up see don't do these mistakes in the exam press next and come down and then you need to write it out x power 3 and then over here it's minus 8x only and minus 16 and now calculate this at 1.5 the answer is negative 16.1875. Now, same thing you need to do it over here. But by the way, once you have done substituting, double check it in the exam because if you get this wrong here, you have to do it again for all the options. You may not get the answer or you might get wrong answer, you know. So that's the thing. Now, let's look over here. It is x minus 2, close the bracket and then open the bracket again. It is x squared plus 2x plus 4, close the bracket, and calculate it at 1.5, and you can see the answer is not matching. Okay, the reason is that's not the final answer, guys. Okay, um, now I have to put one more. So this is much, and this is also the factor. See, this is the final answer. So that was silly of me. I was thinking, what's wrong? Okay. Now, plus 2, and now calculate over here at 1.5. Okay, this was the correct answer, 16, minus 16.1875. So this is how we solve this. Trust me, the calculator method works all the time. 
and this is how easily you can solve for only electronic part because you need to have all the four options. Please do the same thing every way. I have tried many of the problems, even other ones, and it all works. So here, even you can, so this one, right? Just do mode equation and four, and you will get all these four answers. But in your calculator, when you solve, you will get x is equal to minus two, x is equal to minus four, x is equal to plus one. This is not how we write. We have to take this inside. It will be x plus two, one factor, x plus four, other factor, and x minus one as the other factor. That's how we get these. So in your calculator, you get equal to the opposite sign. So be careful with that. And similarly, over here, you can solve it up. And here, this is the answer. Now, in such problems, see over here, the factor is given. That will be power 1. The other one will have a multiplicity of 2 or degree of 2. Now, you can even double check it with just substituting a x value, assuming a x value of 1.5 or anything, and solving it up. Even over here, simple and straightforward problem. Over here. Now, this one, let me do it in calculator. Let me use the mode 5 and 4 option. And let me type the equation as 2. Then we have 17, we have 23, and lastly, negative 42. And now the answers are, okay, I, I definitely put something wrong. Let me double check it. 2, 27, I have put at 17. I am becoming very clumsy. Maybe I'm just very tired. Sorry for that. It's 17, 23, minus 42. Now the x is 1. That means it's minus 1, okay? You just take it to the other side. Now this one, I'll write it out. First one, x is equal to 1. x is equal to negative 7 by 2. Let me write the other one also. And lastly, it's minus 6. x is equal to minus 6. Now these are very simple. It will be x minus 1 as a factor, x plus 6 as one more factor. What about this? The factor can be written as x plus 7 by 2 or x plus 3.5. But the thing is that may not be there in the, uh, you know, options. This is correct. If it's a writing exam, this would be correct, valid. But over here, in general, your factors will be written like this. So what do you do? So it's very simple. Since these, this is x value is what? Equal to negative 7 by 2, right? Multiply both the sides by 2. It's going to be 2x is equal to negative 7. Or take this 2 to the other side, whatever is divided. Or multiplying by 2, you get 2x equals minus 7. Now take the minus 7 to the other side. It will be 2x plus 7 is equal to 0. Or this is the factor you can see. That's how we get this factor. So that's how we can do this problem. And similarly, you can do the others by yourselves. Over here again, equation works. Easily you can factor it out, calculate a method. Now over here, what would have happened is, you would get the equation as x is equal to negative half. So take the 2 to the other side, it's going to be 2x is equal to negative half. 2x plus 1 would be the factor. So in your calculator, this is how we get, and over here. Or you can use assumption method, x is equal to 1.5, and you still get the answer. Even over here. Now here you have to do the assumption method itself. Looking at the final answer. Uh, where is the final answer? This is the final answer. Okay. Once you get first take this in the calculator. Put x as uh, calculated at 1.5. Write the answer down. Put this answer all the four options. And whichever matches the question is your final answer. Even over here it's again the same thing. And that's the end of this question. Very easy and straightforward question. Please do practice more problems. Try the calculator method by yourselves. Be thorough with it. And then the exam questions will be very easy.